Welcome back guys, so in this video I'll be showing you how to use the free FSR3 frame generation mod with lots of the fallen. I own the Epic Games version of this game. We'll be using the mod developed by NewCam9. It only works on RTX based GPUs. It basically replaces DLSS frame generation with FSR3 frame generation, allowing the technology to work on all RTX based GPUs. Now I'll be honest, I would not recommend using this mod with lots of the fallen. The thing is, this game supports ESC, Easy Anti-Cheat Software. And we need to disable it in order to get the mod working. This is something not expected from the game owners as ESC is meant to prevent cheating. After disabling ESC, you won't be able to use the game's online features. For example, participate in player versus player matches, games co-op mode. There is a possibility of your game account getting banned. So only use this mod with this game at your own risk. I've already done my testing. The mod did help in improving the game's performance. My PC has an RTX 2070 Super GPU. Sometimes the FPS suddenly dropped from 100 to 50 and then quickly jumped back up to 100. It was very annoying. It is possible that this issue may be limited to my GPU only. I was not able to get the standard version of this mod working with the game. I had to use its DLSS Tweaks Edition version 0.8. No new update for the mod since 24 December 2023. So first I'll download the mod files. Just click on the Nexus Mods link here. It will take you to this website. Just click on the manual download bar here under DLSS Tweaks Edition. Need to have a free Nexus Mods account in order to download any stuff from here. Then click on Slow Download. Then we need to download DLSS Tweaks Mod files from Emos. Just head to this website. I'll drop its link in the description. Click on Manual Download. Same process. Just click on Slow Download here. This is the archive file corresponding to Nucam 9's mod extracted. This is the archive file corresponding to Emu's mod files, extract its contents as well. Execute this registry file, enable NVIDIA SIG override. You only need to run it once, you don't need to execute it again and again whenever you launch a different game. In order to revert the changes, just run this registry file, disable NVIDIA SIG override. But then your mod will stop working. Now you need to select and copy these two files. And paste them in the games install directory. I am using the Epic Games version of Lords of the Fallen. Just go to your Epic library, find the game and click on the three dots right below the game's box art. Then click on manage. Click on this folder icon right next to uninstall. And yeah, this is the game's install directory. Just open this folder named 1.1.415. Open LOTF2 folder. Open binaries folder. Open Win64 folder. Paste the files here. Now grab the files corresponding to Nucam 9's mod. Just the DLL files are required. Copy them. Go back to the games install directory. Paste the files here. Now just select this DLL file DLSSG underscore DLSS tweaks underscore wrapper. Right click on it and select copy as path. Open DLSS tweaks dot INI file. Scroll down until you find the line of text DLSS path overrides. It's in the middle. Here it is. And just remove the semicolon at the start of this line, the last one. Select the complete directory here. Right click and paste. And just need to delete the inverted commas. We just specified the directory where this DLL file is present. Click on file, save, close. Now we need to enable hardware accelerated GPU settling. Right click anywhere on your desktop and select display settings. Then click on graphics. Click on change default graphics settings. Then make sure this toggle is enabled under hardware accelerated GPU settling. Now we need to enable vSync from NVIDIA control panel. Make sure your GPU drivers are up to date. Click on global settings here. Scroll down until you find vertical sync. 
make sure it is set to on you can apply this setting on a per game basis just click on the program settings tab here and add the game's exe file click on add look for the game there it is lots of the fallen scroll down until you find vertical sync and set it to on apply close now i'll show you how to create a bad file in order to disable eac software and add a launch option to the game go back to the games directory where you have placed the mod files just need to create a new text file here select all of the text including the extension if extension is not shown here just click on view go to show and make sure this setting is checked file name extensions you can name it anything i'll just name it as launch but set the extension to bat that is bad click on yes now we need to edit it just need to add three lines in the bat file I'll provide these lines in the description of the video. You can grab them from there. Click on file, click on save. That's it. Close the file. Now we are ready to run the game. You just need to launch the game from the launch.bat file that we just created. It will automatically start the game. There you go. ESC is not working. It did not get initiated. In game settings, resolution set to full HD. In game basing disabled. DLSS is set to quality and there is the option to enable or disable frame generation first I'll run the game without it reflex enable helps in reducing the latency graphic setting everything has been set to ultra except for global illumination quality I've set it to medium I've also disabled film grain entirely up to you just click on the multiplayer tab here and set online mode to no this will disable the online mode it's a Souls-like game action RPG. The realm of the living is called Axiom and the realm of the dead is called Umbral. Yeah, there is a character and here we are getting around 60 FPS. It's the perfect scenario for enabling frame generation. Hitting the GP waterline. I need to siphon off the parasite from this creature in order to do some damage to it. Use my lamp. We are getting around 52 to 60 FP. Now I'll enable frame generation. Loaded the same sequence with frame generation enabled. Here we are getting around 98 FPS. So this technology is definitely working in this game. Let me engage in combat. With the mod enabled, it's not always a very smooth experience. Sometimes the FPS can drop down from 100 to as low as 30, then quickly jump back to 100 again. Just like this, I hope this issue gets fixed with the future updates of the mod. I'll access the realm of the dead now. Use the lamp on this creature.
return to the realm of the living i'll engage in combat now There you go, new camp 9 spot working in Lords of the Fallen. I'll end the video here guys, I hope you found it useful. Thanks for watching and have a nice day.